Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and today I'll be guiding you through this chord progression of a synth. It's more of like a uh, new disco type of synth. It's uh, very different but it follows the same routes as uh, any other synth I create which is usually to add a little bit of reverb and uh, just play a few chords and then get the right notes going and then adjust and tweak the synth a little bit more. So this is the final product. I hope you like it. Take a listen and enjoy. So it's pretty easy as what you can see. There's not a lot going on. Uh, there's usually just a little bit of reverb, some compression, a little bit of uh, warmth and saturation to this, as well as a little bit of a uh, distorted feel to it. And uh, just a simple maximizer and equalizer to filter out some of the unwanted frequencies. So let's get to it. I'm going to go to my file, go to new, drag up my rack and my sequencer. I'm going to right click, or in this case you can control click, go to utilities, then combinator. After this, I'm going to right click in this little red box here of the combinator, and I'm going to create a new instance of Thor. I'm going to change the range to 12 right off the bat and change the polyphony release to 4. I'm also going to show programmer and for the first oscillator I'm going to change this to a wavetable. I'm going to bring it down an octave. I'm going to change the position to 64. Boop. And I'm also going to change it to 10 signs. I'm going to turn on the 1, 2, and 3 oscillators that go in the first filter which is a low pass ladder filter. I'm going to change this to a combinator instead. I want to take this frequency down to 287 hertz and the resonance about 40 and change it to a negative combinator. For our second oscillator we're going to change it to a FM sorry phase modulation and for my second for my first, I'm going to leave it as a saw. For my second, let's zoom in here, I'm going to change this. Let me see. I'm going to change this to, it's one of the smaller, yeah. It's waveform number three. So waveform number three. Let's see. I'm going to turn the PM all the way up. And I think I take it down. No, I push it up actually two octaves. So actually three. So I push it up to seven. I'm going to take a little bit off the PM just in case. So it's 107 right now. For my third oscillator, I'm going to do a multi oscillator. I'm going to pitch it up one octave. I'm going to change this type to an octave. I'm going to change the amount a little bit more, so about 28 or maybe 32. Then I'm going to route uh, all my oscillators to filter 2. Uh, make sure that uh, there's nothing selected in filter 2. And let's see, anything else? Oh, the shaper. I turn it on rectify. And I turn up the drive halfway. Even though it's not on, it still adds a nice crisp, it still goes through everything, even though it's not on. It's a little bit complex to explain, but I'm just going to turn on the delay and corner chorus for now. Let's see, I turn up the dry wet on the chorus about 86. And for the dry wet, I take it down maybe to about 20. And that's really all there is to it, except for the delay goes about 17 milliseconds. 
And for the amp envelope and the gate, there's not, I don't do anything to that, so we have our synth right now. After this, I'm going to right click. Every time I say right click, you can do control click if you're on a PC or don't have the PC mouse for the Mac. It still works. So after this, I'm going to go to Studio Effects, create an RV7000, turn down the dry wet, and turn down the decay. So about 34 on the decay and about 20, 22 on the dry wet. I'm going to turn on Remote Programmer, make sure EQ is on. And I'm going to adjust my reverb a little bit. I'm actually going to make the size to about 33 milliseconds. And for the EQ, I'm going to take the low gain to about 5.3. And for the high gain, I'm going to take that about 5.4. Take that to 2,200 kilohertz and drop the Q about 0.2. Okay. Now, after this, let's see. Okay, after this, I'm going to right click, create a line six bass amp, turn on the compressor. That's all we need to do for that. After this, I'm gonna create an MC class equalizer. Then I'm gonna turn on low cut, parameter one, take it at about 250 hertz, gain down, Q about 8.4. For parameter two, I'm gonna take it about 1000 kilohertz. I'm gonna bring up the Q a little bit more, 11.7. For the high shelf, I'm gonna take the frequency down and the Q about 2.3. I'm sorry, the gain 2.3 and the Q 0.5. After this, if you do have this installed, I'm using Reason 6.5, I'm going to drop a soft tube saturation. Now you can skip this step, it's not recommended um, but if you want to get the sound that actually sounds a little bit crispy, uh, you probably should get this. It's totally free if you have Reason 6.5. Uh, Reason 7 will come out later. I wonder if this will be included. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But I found this as free, so I downloaded it. I'm going to turn it up to the first little niche, so 0 0.7. Then after, after this, I'm going to go to my creative effects, go to Scream 4 Distortion. Change the damage to about 20, the type to digital, and turn P1 all the way up, and P2 about 81%. Then right click after this, or control click, create the MC class maximizer. Take off the limiter, turn on the uh, uh, release to auto, turn on soft clip, the amount 127, and congratulations, you have just created this wonderful, unique, um, kind of new indie disco digital synth. So there you guys have it. Have a great Saturday and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another crazy amazing synth.